Hello everyone, my name is Kitana, an engineer at Supermicro with Technology Enablement. Today I'll be guiding you through a tutorial for setting up stable video diffusion on Supermicro's Gaudi 2. As an overview, we'll be using Supermicro's Gaudi 2 server, Ubuntu 22.04, Intel Gaudi software suite, Stable Diffusion XL base model, Stable Video Diffusion model, Optimum Habana GitHub, and then following a demonstration. Here's a sneak peek for the Supermicro Gaudi 2 AI server, which is designed for deep learning performance efficiency in both training and inferencing. This powerful platform is designed specifically for AI workloads and can help accelerate your machine learning models. For our prerequisites, please refer to this list and note that we've downloaded both the models prior. Welcome to Supermicro's landing page for Supermicro's Gaudi 2. It's a revolutionary AI accelerator transforming the machine learning and deep learning landscape for AI. It offers outstanding performance, energy efficiency, scalability, versatility, and cost effectiveness. For full server specifications, please refer back to the provided link. Let's go over the specs for the Gaudi system. Here we have Supermicro's Gaudi 2 X12 generation with dual Intel Xeon third generation CPUs. It has eight Gaudi 2 AI accelerators. Each OAM is up to 600 watts TDP. It is an 8U air-cooled system on board six GPE OSFP scale out with 24 hot swap drivable bays. It's available now and for more information, please contact us at Supermicro. Here is the model card for Stable Diffusion XL. It is an open source latent diffusion model from Civility AI for using text to image generation. On Gaudi hardware, we're able to generate an image in under five seconds using 50 inference steps. Please refer to the link for more information. Next, we'll take a look at Stable Video Diffusion Model Card from Civility AI. It's another latent diffusion model for image to video generation. This cutting edge technology empowers users to create short video clips from a single image input. Please refer back to the model card link that we've provided for more information. Next, we'll take a look at Hugging Face Optimum Habana's GitHub repository. Note that the main branch is their development branch. We're gonna be scrolling down to the example for Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion XL, which is a little bit down here. We're going to be using a similar script, however our team has built one using Gradio, so it has a little bit friendlier web UI. And then we're going to scroll down and check out the stable video diffusion example. So we'll be having a pipeline of SDXL and SVD. Um, SDXL will take one HPU and then SVD will take the other. Next we have the Intel Gaudi documentation site. Next, we have the Intel Gaudi documentation site. Here, you can access files, download resources, and find supporting information. The processor in the architecture diagram for Gaudi 2 supports 2.4 terabits of networking bandwidth, 96 gigabytes of HBM2E memory, and supports all popular data types essential for deep learning. Next, we'll take a look at the Intel Gaudi software suite. This is gonna be the software stack that's used by Habana. We're gonna use the system management tool for HSHL SMI. This is going to tell us the firmware version and drivers of our system. Navigate back to the Intel Gaudi documentation site. We're going to be installing our software on bare metal using PyTorch virtual environment. To do so, please follow the documentation listed here with your command line. You are able to pull the Habana Labs installer Note that we had already checked our driver version, so please be sure to use the correct driver and firmware version for your system. For more references, please refer back to this documentation, and we're going to be setting up our virtual environment with a postfix of SVD demo. This is just an environment name. We've already downloaded the script off screen, and now we're going to instantiate that script. As it loads, be sure to click yes so that all packages are installed. And now we're going to activate our virtual environment by typing in source, the name of our environment, bin and activate. 
Once we do, we're going to change into a demo folder that I've previously created called SVD Demo. It's currently empty. Navigate back to Optimum Habana, GitHub repository. Remember, we want to use the latest stable branch, not the main branch. We're going to clone this. Let's just double check. So first we will install eager mode before we clone the repository so we have all the correct packages. Now we're going to clone that repository, check out that branch, and then change into the Optimum Habana folder. We've sped up the cloning process as it downloads. Now we're in the folder of Optimum Habana. This is what the directory structure looks like at the moment. The next step is to install the dependencies. We need to install DeepSpeed. So DeepSpeed is a deep learning optimization library that makes distributed training and inference easy, effective, and efficient. And then the last step will just be to install the requirement script and switch into the examples folder that we want to be using. So since our demonstration is going to be SVD, it's going to be stable diffusion. Um, these were the examples that we looked at earlier. Again, make sure that you've downloaded both models before and also know the path and the volume for them. Um, Again, just highlighting that there for your reference. Since we've already covered this, we'll be skipping ahead and seeing how our download is going. At the bottom of the page here, we'll see that DeepSpeed has been installed, so now we can change into examples and stable diffusion and run the requirements text. Next, check out Gradio. This is a common and simple way to build and share machine learning web applications. Take a look at the quick start guide as we're going to copy the installation for Gradio with pip install Gradio. Back to our CLI. Okay, so let's install Gradio. And as a side note, I have already installed the scripts our team has made um, for this demo and then also the SMC logo. We'll need to do a quick edit for a Gradio fix that we have. Um, since we're using Stable Diffusion, we're using Gradio's video component that's used to upload, record, and display videos. Uh, for it to be playable in a web browser, it needs to have a compatible container and codec combination. We're using a combination of WebM, which is this VPN codec. So we'll do this modification, but first let's verify that we have a folder for videos, for the stored videos for SVD, and then a, also a folder called pictures, um, and then to SDXL. This is just showing what the directory structure looks like. We want to be able to store both the generated images and the generated videos in these locations. Okay. Now, let's go ahead with that video edit for the Gradio video. We're going to go back into the Habana Labs virtual environment that we created for this instance. And we're going to just modify a file called export utils and it's going to be in the site packages for Python. Okay, and it's going to be under diffusers and utils and then we're just going to use a Vim editor to make this modification. Okay, so we're gonna open up the editor and then we're going to find the line 238 and we're gonna just modify it so that instead of using MP4, we're using WebM and then also the, I think it was the, VP9 Kodak. So now that we've made this modification, 
uh, we're back in our Stable Diffusions examples and we're going to just clear our videos really quickly and then run our script. Now that we've executed the script, it may take a few seconds to warm up. The HPU um, has graph compilation and sometimes that takes a short little bit to warm up. Looks like it's ready to go. Okay, we're just gonna click the link that we have here, enter in our credentials, Okay, so here we have the SVD demo with Supermicro Gaudi 2 systems. Note that we're using the text to image SDXL to generate our first image using default values. We are going to use that image as the input to generate our video. Note that we can modify the seed, step size, some other things such as the width and height of the video. Um, and we're just using the default values here. It takes a few seconds for the video to render because it is processing quite a bit and it will generate a four second clip. This four second clip has 28 frames. So it's usually about seven, seven frames per window, which gives us about four seconds. Before we go, let's review what we've covered today. We've followed the Intel Gaudi docs and we we're able to set up a PyTorch virtual environment using Habana Labs installer. Then we were using Supermicro's Gaudi 2 AI server with Ubuntu 22.04. We set up a repository for Optimum Habana, integrated models from Hugging Face, SDXL, and SVD, installed the required dependencies, made some modifications, and installed Supermicro's scripts and logo for seamless setup. For additional information, please check out the resource list we've provided in the description. If you have more questions, please reach out to our team, Technology Enablement at Supermicro. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content from our team. See you next time.